I'm just me, and today I am here with a Loot Fright. I don't know what month it's supposed to be, I don't know what the theme is supposed to be. All I know is that they are actually getting themselves back on track. I was worried there for a while, they were having some problems, but they stayed open with us, gave, you know, told us what was happening, um, and yeah, when they said they were going to get back on track, here it is. You know what? Here's the playlist. I explain very little in it, but you should watch it anyway. Before we start this last t-shirt from Loot Fright, I was afraid it was going to melt or whatever because it was thinner than the others, but this part did not melt. The label on the inside did. Do you see this? This part melted. But the actual graphic is perfectly fine. It's not even really like... Should I zoom in? Yeah. It's not even like cracked or anything. So... Getting themselves back to good, I'm telling you. Which is good, because I just paid for another year, so... Let's hope they stay good. And let's see what's in here. Oh, put it there where you can't see. Turn here so I can't see. And... Oh. <laughs> oh, open the box. Okay. Right on top, we've got... It. Oh, we'll do the shirt. I don't understand it. I think it's neat looking, but I don't. Oh, okay. I've never, I've never watched this show. It's um difficult to explain, but I really appreciate that they have given me the answer to what this is. And yes, I never watched. Uh, I never watched it, but I think this design is neat. So I'm going to see if my partner ever watched it. And see if he wants the t-shirt. So that's cool. So there's the t-shirt. Next, we've got a box. What is in you, box? You say Loot Fright. You have a... Um, um, not really my genre. Can someone help me out here? What is this thing? It's some kind of Satan-y thing, right? It is. Literally just a little figure of... So, like I said, this isn't really my genre, but I kind of like this little statue figure thing. They look good on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's not too bad. Sometimes we get a box and I'm just like, I don't know what this is. And sometimes we get a box and I'm like, this is the great- what the fuck am I touching? Oh, I don't- I don't like it. I don't like when I can't see it. Oh. Ew. Oh, what are you? Oh, I don't like it. It's a collectible ball. This is from Kid Robot. It is a Mad Balls. It is a Jason Mad Balls. I... am indifferent to this item.
this fellow. When did this fall out? Okay, it's just a barcode to get information. Oh no. Okay, this card says, Thanks for being a looter. Want more info about the epic gear you just unboxed? Learn more at Loot Crate, my Loot Fright. I am really hoping that I don't have to do that to figure out what's in here. I don't, I hope that didn't replace like the little, the little what's in here card. Oi. There we go. <laughs> Four to six items. And yes, this is replacing these. How am I going to know what's exclusive now? I don't want to go online. I want to be doing it now. I'm going to sit here with my phone. Well, I guess we'll never know what any of it is. Okay, let's let's open this and I'll finish complaining. Ooh, okay, it's a mug. I like mugs. I like mugs and kitchen accessories and t-shirts, things that I'm going to use. Like I have a Pennywise the Dancing Clown pencil case that now holds all of my manicured utensils. My nail polish didn't fit, but like, utensils? Is that... Is that the word I want? But you know, like my nail file and... Pokey itchy cuticle thing that I don't remember the name of. Anyway, hi topic. Let's get back there, shall we? It's a mug. Spellman Mortuary Funerals, Burials, and Rites. Okay, apparently it's from Sabrina. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I have not watched. Ooh. This and this net are the only plastic waste. This is a box. This is a box. I don't know if you can recycle them, but I can definitely reuse them. And I, especially this one. This one has no markings. This is like the greatest thing to wrap people's uh, Christmas presents in. Hmm. Okay. We'll do a quick recap here. We got the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the Spellman Mortuary. Spellman Mortuary. I can't talk today. I'm having a day. <laughs> So, it's got the uh, pentagram slash curl, depending on whether you're right or left-handed, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> that, okay, so there's that. <coughs> and we had this thing that I, I, yeah. It is officially my least favorite item from this box. What is it called again? A Jason Madball by Kid Robot. Not really my thing. And then there's this little statue figure thing. 
of a creature. I'm assuming is the devil? Maybe? Wait, wait, what do you tell me? Lewd Fright. Artist, Austin James. That wasn't particularly helpful. But anyway, I like this thing. It's going on the shelf. It has the honor of being the shelf item. Although some of the shelf items are terribly dishonorable. And finally, we've got the Metalpocalypse. T-shirt. Again. Never saw it. So that was everything in this particular Loot Fright. So, like this if you like this. Comment, subscribe. <coughs> Let's try that from the beginning, shall we? If you're still here, like this if you like this. Comment, subscribe for new videos once a week. Uh, subscribe because I'm gonna try to hopefully get 200 subscribers this year in 2020. So please help me out. And if I've already got to 200 subscribers, Please subscribe anyway, because more, more is better when it comes to subscribers. And likes. And comments. And YouTube's just all about excess. <laughs> and join me next week when I am unfortunately, depending on whether you like this sort of thing or not, uh, I'm back to eating things. I've got the blendy stick from February's Tokyo Treat. And my partner gave me some random candy that I'm supposed to try on camera. Just walks in, hands me this little super cola. Super, super cola? So. Little thing, no information on it, and just says that I should eat it on camera. Apparently it might be good, it might be bad, and... I'm gonna find out in a few minutes, but you can find out next week. And thank you for watching. Bye! Anyway, the point is that Loot Crate is getting themselves back to good and Loot Fright is part of Loot Crate. <laughs> This isn't going very well. I'm not very good at this. So... <laughs> so like this if you like this. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Hiding them. There. <laughs>